Hi, hello, welcome to Navina Vidya. In this video, we will be explaining the process of mummification from ancient Egypt. Mummification was an important part of ancient Egyptian culture, and they went to great extents to preserve the dead. The first step in ancient Egyptian mummification. The Egyptian priests would have inserted a spike into the dead body's skull, and the spike would have reached the brain. They would then mash up the brain and turn it into a liquid, flushing it out the nose. The second step in Egyptian mummification. The ancient Egyptian priests would make a cut in the body, open it up, and remove the internal organs. These internal organs would be the liver, the lungs, the intestines, and the stomach. No Step 3. The priest would place the internal organs within specific canopic jars. The lungs would have been placed in the god Harpy's jar. He had a baboon head. Anubis, the god of mummification, with a jackal head, would have protected the stomach. Himseti, a god with a human head, would have guarded the liver. And they would then dehydrate the body by placing it in a salt called natron salt for 70 days. The dead body would have been shriveled and small, so they would have to have stuffed it with sand to return it to its usual shape. Once it was returned to its usual shape, it was slightly smelly. So the ancient Egyptian priest put tree resin over the body to stop the bad smell and make it smell slightly better. The next step would have been to wrap the dead body in linen bandages from head to toe to create the most commonly known form of a mummy. A stone sarcophagus was then placed over the dead body. to create a complete mummy.